Zea. Pieco. Limarengu. Limarengu. Few things that I want to say as you go to secondary school. Number one, you will be in the secondary school for a season and for a reason. That opportunity to go to a national school, you did well. We are proud of you. But as you are in the national school, remember that you are there for a season and for a reason. Time is of essence. If you don't utilize time, it will fly away. And time wasted will never be recovered. You are there for a season and for a reason. Your reason, this time for say, I want to tell you, if you want to succeed in life, and those who are in secondary school, these days is either you become a doctor, a nurse, a teacher, an engineer, something that you can make things even outside your formal employment. Go for the best. Go to get an A. You have the capacity, you have the ability. You only need the discipline and the concentration. When you are there, listen to your teachers. Keep away from wrong company. You are not there to compete. You are there for a reason and for a season. Your parents love you. They have sacrificed for you to be there. Therefore, as you are there, remember where you are coming from. Remember where you are and never forget where you are going. Number two, you are there to leave a mark. Not just to pass through St. Joseph's National School. Where you are, where you are going, you are supposed to leave a mark. There are many students who go through institutions, but students who are remembered are those who have left a mark. Leave a mark in mathematics. There is one Pokot I cannot forget at Italian Primary. His name was Peter Lowok. He got 99% in mathematics. He left a mark. Leave a mark in chemistry, in mathematics, in physics. Leave a mark. And I want to say, when you leave a mark, you will be, you will be remembered. You have the potential. You have the character. You have the support of your parents and your sisters. The sky is the limit for you. Say, so remember that we'll always be praying for you. Number three, you are there to inspire before your time expires. Inspire others. Let there be, let people say, here came, he came, he saw, and he conquered. You came to Saint Joseph. You saw and you conquered left a mark, you inspired, and you utilized your time and opportunity. Never forget, the book of First Chronicles 4.9 tells us of a story of a young man like you. They say, his name is Jabez. His mother gave him the name Jabez because he was born in pain. And Jabez prayed and said, oh God, that you may bless me, that you may expand my territory. Dear Lord, I pray that your hand may be upon me and keep me from evil. Like Jabez, we are praying for you. And Jabez, the book of Jabez, Jabez, you're going to read here on the book of ja the book of First Chronicles, where the story of Jabez is written, was written by one of the best scribes by the name of Ezra. He was a priest. Around 444 BC, he left with the children of Israel from Babylon as they returned back to the promised land where they got desolation. But he encouraged the people. And he encouraged the people by writing the genealogies, the people, the great people who are there. Just like today, we celebrate great people, great people who have joined institutions and we want your name to be written among the great. 
As they read the name of Jabez, he stopped and recorded. Jabez was unique. He stood out like a sore finger. Jabez was unique, number one, in education. It is my prayer that in education you will go far. Number two, Jabez was unique in character. Be disciplined. Kuna manena na kutapa nyogo, bangi, kuna manena na sigara. There is bad company, but be unique in character. Number three, be unique. Do not let your past dictate your future. You had some challenges while you are doing the exams, but it will not dictate your future. For God is in control. Number two, Jabez prayed. And may it be a, the prayer of Hosea. That number one, may the Lord bless me. And it is my prayer, Hosea, that the Lord will bless you. As you go to St. Joseph's, Mungu atakubariki. Kitu chapili, may the Lord expand your territory. Apanue mipaka yako. Yani, kutokia penye ulikuwa, you did well, but when God expands your territory, you will be in the paper. I want four years when, when I'm a, your priest here in Nasoto. press was this is the priest of Osea. He has done well. He has gotten a clean air. Number three, Jabez prayed that God may the Lord keep him from all evil. May the Lord keep you from all evil. May the Lord keep you from danger and all the negative things. And number four, God's hand may be upon you. We are praying that God's hand will be upon you as you begin your secondary school and even when you go to the university, that he will keep, that he will provide for you, that he will guide you, and that he will be with you. And the rest of you, your future is in God's hand. Trust in the Lord. And when you trust in the Lord, he will open doors and opportunities for you. May the Lord richly bless you. Asante sana mze Richard kwa kunekaribisha na mwote wa jamii hii. Thank you very much. I'm honored. And Osea, you are very important to us. Therefore, protect yourself as you go to school. Keep yourself safe. You are like gold. Come back to us safe and go to the university. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we commit your servant, Richard, into your hands, and even Mama Elizabeth. Dear Lord, we pray that you will richly bless them, meet with all their needs, provide for them, and even protect them. We pray for all their children and thanking you for all the good things that you have done to them. Dear Lord, we pray that you will continually provide for them, and may they lack nothing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit or say into your hands, even as he joins the national school, we pray your divine blessings, providence, peace, and protection be upon him. For the remainder of this night, when we'll rest, may the peace of God which surpasses human understanding, and may the blessings of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon the family of Richard, and be upon all their children, and be upon was there, even as he plans to go, and when he reports on Tuesday, may your blessings be upon him. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, and good.